Hello guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So, today I will be teaching you on how to get the finding the mean, the median, and the mood of the ungrouped data. So, if you are ready, so please keep watching until the end of this video. So, before we proceed in finding the mean, the median, and the mood, let us define what is a mean. So when we are talking the mean guys, this is the average. So when we have average and divided by the number of a value. So like for example guys, I have here, find the mean of the following grades of Jose in five following subjects. We have 82, 83, 85, 86, and 90. So what are we going to do there? So we are going to add all of the numbers here. So there are five subjects, so 82 plus 83 plus 85 plus 86 plus 90 divided by how many subjects are there. So there are five subjects, so you are going to add all of this. So in your calculator, you are going to add 82 plus 83 plus 85, plus 86, plus 90, divided by 5, then it will give you the mean of 85.5. So this is now the mean grade of Jose. Okay? Now, I have here another example, which is 10, 12, 14, 10, 15, 18, and 20. So what are we going to do, guys, is we are going to add all of this. So mean is equal to 10 plus 12 plus 14 plus 10 plus 15 plus 18 plus 20. So how many values are there? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 divided by 7. So get the sum of all the numbers here and divide it by 7. Then if you're going to add all, the, all this, then it will give you 99 divided by 7. So 99 divided by 7 will give you 14.14. So therefore, this is now the mean grade of uh, the scores under uh, example number 2. Okay? So, can we proceed now to the median? So, when we are talking about the median, guys, this is what we call the, the middle value. So, what are we going to do is you need to arrange the number from the least to the greatest before we are going to get the middle value. Okay, so, I'm going to, to erase the writings on the board and I will give you a number about uh, a, an example of the median, guys, okay? So, like for example, the median is, the numbers are 85, 84, 89, 87, 86, 83, and 90. So, how many Values are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So as what I have mentioned just now, that you are going to get, to arrange the data from the least to the greatest. It means to say, yung pinakamababa going to the highest number. So we know that in this data, the lowest number is 83 followed by 84. So 83, 84 followed by 85, followed by 86, followed by 87, and 89 and 90. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, complete. And after that, from the right side, so since there are seven values, so kalahati nun ay isa, di ba? So, three from the, the side, right side, three from the left side. So, what are we going to do? You start here on the right side. So, 1, 2, 3, on the left side, 1, 2, 3. So therefore, the, the middle term is 86. Or this is now our median. 
Okay, so this is the process on how are we going to get the median of the ungrouped data. But how, it, but how about um, the median, dalawa po yung median, paano nyo po gagawin? So, I will give you uh, another example. The numbers are 3, 5, 6, 3, 5, 6, 2, and 4. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so now, process, same process. You are going to arrange the score from the lowest to the greatest. So, ang pinaka lowest dito, guys, is 2, followed by how many 3s are there? So, 2, 3, 3, and then 4, and then 5, 5, dalawang 5. And 6 and 6, dalawang 6. Okay, now, after this, so, what, 8, there are 8, so tatlo, tatlo. So, from the right side, bilang ka ng tatlo, 1, 2, 3, and then 1, 2, 3. So, therefore, the median is 4 and 5. So, what are you going to do in order to get the median? So, you are going to add the two numbers, okay, so 4 plus 5 divided by 2, then 9 divided by 2 is equal to 4.5. So, 4.5 now class is the median. So, yun po yung process on how are you going to get the median of the ungrouped data. Kapag isa lang, then as is, kapag dalawa, you are going to add the 2 and get the you get the sum and divide it by 2 okay so how about the mode okay ito po yung pangatlo when we are talking about the mode it is the number that occur most often okay so i have here an example another example i will give you another example for the mode so pag sinabi natin guys na mode ito yung may pinakamaraming numbers sa data so Pag sinabi natin, uh, the, the mode here, the following set of data are 4 and 6, 6 and 4, 5 and 3, 5 and 3, 5 and 3, 6 and 3, 4 and 2. So, these are the, the set of data. So, sabi po kanina, when we are going to define the mode, it is the number na ito po yung marami. Okay, so, let us check in our data, ano dyan ang may pinakamarami. So, we know that there are three fives and there are four threes. <laughs> so, ano may pinakamarami? Di apat. So, therefore, what is your mode? Mode is equal to 3. But the question is, is there any possibility that there are 4 modes in the data? Yes, kapag pareho po silang 4, kanibawa 4 na tagpa 5, 4 na tagpa 3, then that is your mode. But there is uh, also na wala pong modes sa set of data. So like for example, the set of data are 1, 2, 3, hanggang 10, and the mode there, wala po. So your answer will be, there is no mode in a given set of data. So this is now the process, guys, on how are you going to get the mean, median, and mode of the ungrouped data. So iba naman po yung uh, process on how are you going to get the mean, median, and mode of the group data. So next teaching, guys, I will teach you on how are you going to do that. So I hope you, you, have, you absorb the lesson and have a great day, everyone. Thank you.